you hope the audio does not come through my car, which it probably is. So if it sounds like garbage, I'm sorry. We've got about 10 minutes because I was at Walmart grabbing some bins and then I had to grab a star or a Dutch because I'm gonna be packing some stuff up today and doing some stuff. So anyways, um, welcome to the replay since there's nobody here right now during the live and this is gonna be very quick and very fast. I plan to do a more uh, like educated video on this machine. Obviously like I want to do a lot of education on the internet <laughs> coming forward, but um, I feel like I can't see you guys. So honestly, I was not planning to talk about this machine until at least the 25th because that's when it comes out, but it's leaked. Michael's leaked it. Ken's been talking about it. And I feel like, hey guys, so people are commenting, but it says there's only one person here. So not sure how the Wi-Fi is, not sure how um, the audio is. And if it's terrible, this is only gonna be a couple minutes. So bear with it, or I'll try to repeat this in another video. But I really wanted to chime in on this machine because I have not known about this. So I, um, had an inkling that it was coming and I knew from the projects that people I know are working on and have asked for files for I was like are you working on something with something and so I I didn't know that this was going this route all the way but I did have a feeling that it was coming and um, if you didn't know so the Glowforge Aura is and I'm guessing it's Aura Ken was calling it ow, ow, I don't even know how he was saying it. Maybe it's his, um, his accent from, uh, where they live, Washington. But I, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's just Aura, like Aurora, Aura, I don't know. But, uh, basically the whole thing is that it's going to be scaled down to a crafter level. And it's exactly what we were wanting Cricut to do. <laughs> For years, we've been wanting Cricut to go up to a laser, but Glowforge is coming down to a crafter laser. Um, and I'm living for it. And I absolutely think that if it's around $1,000, it's gonna be worth it. Um, some of you guys know I have the M1X tool and it's actually up at our cabin because it needs ventilation, so it's up there but our cabin is rented out all the time so I never get a chance to go up there and I've been wanting to educate on the M1 but every time I go up there and play with it I cannot get the settings right and I realized it doesn't cut through like thick woods and it, and I'm talking about a different machine than the Aura right this second the M1X tool does not cut through acrylic and does not cut through thicker woods um, besides like balsa wood so I kind of was like mm, I don't know I'm gonna kind of shelf that for a little while until I can figure out why I would even recommend that but I think this machine being able to cut acrylic being able to cut wood having a pass-through it's gonna be 12 inches but it's gonna have a pass-through so you can do long pieces I think that it's gonna be game changer so I don't have a link I don't make any money with Glowforge so there's that like I can actually make money with Cricut if you guys didn't know I can link to Michaels and other places Amazon where it's sold so I can make money with Cricut so by me being 100% authentic I'm not trying to go like go use this and buy the new because I can affiliate for the venture and be like yeah buy the thousand dollar machine I'll make 10% or whatever you make on that but I can't vouch for machines if I don't think that it's worth it and knowing my target audience which is usually stay-at-home moms or people who are trying to start businesses I'm trying to find you guys the easiest fastest least expensive way to jump into making money on the on on your crafts your DIYs but it's gonna be game changer for so many reasons because everybody can jump into the laser world now on a small scale and we can design for you guys. So I'm really, really, really excited to be able to bring laser world down to the craft level because that's what we're in the business of. We are designers. Uh, if you don't know who we are, what I mean is my membership and the files that I create are for 
Cricut and laser cut or not they are for laser cutters as well but a lot of people don't use lasers so we don't market our files that much for lasers we've started to kind of convert things and show um, some projects you can do and then we've tailored a lot of files specifically for the Glowforge because more and more people are getting a Glowforge but this is gonna be game changer so couple minutes of you guys chatting i will probably go live tomorrow for a second to talk more about it if it's wanted if i see a lot of people talking but for some reason instagram is not showing me my comments until like 24 hours later so i posted the picture of the glowforge and i was like oh nobody's interested in it i guess it's not not going to be a big thing and then i went back on today and i was like oh my gosh there's so many comments on here about people wanting to know more about this machine so i was like you know what i have 10 minutes i'm going to jump on grab some comments so if you're watching the replay leave comments here i'm reading comments on instagram comments on here um and and it's hard for me to go back and read comments if i'm on my computer so the, all your guys's comments i'm going to try to grab right now but I have to be on my phone watching my replay to see the live chat. It's so weird, it's so annoying. So I would appreciate if you're watching the replay to ask your questions about the Aura, anything. I will try to dig up some answers, but I do not work with Glowforge. That's why I can actually talk about this right now. Um, but I don't vouch or have any issues with Glowforge. Uh, Cricket, I know a couple people have asked like, why do you, uh, a lot of people say hate cricket i do not hate cricket <laughs> let me just put that out there i do not hate cricket um i love cricket machines i hate what they've done to the influencer community that helped build their brand um hopefully they are treating these new influencers that are working with them better and i really hope that they love them well um, but they did not love a lot of the original influencers who helped build their brand um into something bigger and better on the internet they they've treated them badly um i've never worked with glowforge so i don't know the behind the scenes of how the company works or i know there are a lot of influencers i know who work with them and have never said anything negative about them so but i also i, I don't know i'm just i'm like i'm not going to subscribe to cancel culture because I don't like how they've treated me. If they're reconciling and treating people better now, then that's good. Um, will they ever reconcile with me or Ken or whoever else? There's a lot that they've burned. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know. But will I ever stop saying the machine is the best machine on the market? Only when another machine comes out and knocks it out of the park. That's what I've said. I know there are a couple that are trying I know there's a, a few machines. Uh, the Locklick is trying to come out and knock it out of its park. I know Silhouette has been trying really hard. Silhouette has actually been more innovative than Cricut, but they just can't execute it the way that Cricut does it with their machines. So the time it takes for Cricut to come out with a machine, I get it because their machines are the best of the, on the market. So I totally get that. But all this is supposed to be about the Glowforge Aura, which I am so excited about. Um, do I have $1,000 to spend on a machine right now? No. Uh, I, might move, I have so much going on right now that I wouldn't even have time to play with one. But I know enough people who have them that maybe I can be like, can I come over and play with your machine? Um, so we'll see. But uh, I gotta go pick up my nephew and i will try to pop in live tomorrow to answer some more questions but the 20 and they're okay but let me just tell you they're i was like i didn't know the date that this thing was coming out that's why i kept kind of um hinting in my last videos that something was coming that would be more in the crafter world that's this is the machine i was talking about um didn't know what it was called didn't know what it looked like didn't know anything about it uh but i was like i think maybe just wait is it not a coincidence that it's coming out on June 25th and Cricut is releasing theirs on HSN on June 25th? There's gotta be. Am I still live? <laughs>